Welcome back to Proud Stutter. Today we have a new guest and a new co-host. Joining us is Desiree Tracy Cole. She is a singer, actress, and dancer. She's also a woman who stutters. Next, we have our co-host for this episode and our ally to the stuttering community, Nikki Burns, host of History Podcast, As the Money Burns, and she's also a researcher. Welcome, both of you. Hello. Hello. All right. So let's dive right in. Um, So Desiree, I am just so curious about um, like how you, like what was the moment you knew that you wanted to pursue this career acting and being in the entertainment industry? Well, I, I, so, so I, okay, so it started when I saw Annie because I love Annie and, and, and it was the old one and, and I saw every one having, um, having, um, having, 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 um, um, fun and, 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 um, the, um, 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 orphans, um, singing and dancing and flipping. I was like, that is cool. And, and, and I, um, and, um, and, um, someone said it's acting. And I was like, what is that? So I was like, that is so cool. I want to do that. So it was cool. And Nikki, you also have some experience in the entertainment industry. And I'm wondering, have, has like accessibility and disability issues and being more inclusive has an industry ever come up as you've kind of been in that kind of world? Well, I've, I've done several things in the business and um, I've participated in production and also in management and representation um, in that sense. And so I haven't seen too much directly. I know in the business, it's been, it's very hard for just anyone to break in and like seeing that, that continuous struggle. So once in a while, you actually find someone with um, other complications that finally do cross over, but I didn't get too much experience, but I did, I did meet people along the way. Like most of the time would be just like when I was working for a, a manager who represented uh, writers and directors. She represented a lot of female voices and a lot of uh, different minorities. So just trying to see what it was like trying to get them represented as a writer or a director, whether because they were female um, and especially like of dif- like we, we represented the first female uh, Arabian director, film director. And so that was just like for everyone, it's so much just trying to get a new story out there and told. And like same thing, like when you go and you see things with disability and like you don't really think about it until you meet someone. And like I met Maya earlier this year. So then another awareness is like I didn't understand that stuttering has different. I knew you would you get tripped over like certain consonants, but I didn't know there are other ways that it it influences or impacts or like there's other methods of it. And so it's just so important to have those stories told and shown in different ways that we just become more aware and familiar with it. Yeah. And Desiree, I'm just bouncing off of that. I'm curious how, how has it been trying to break into the entertainment industry and how does your stutter show up in in that kind of drive to 
um, be in the industry? Um, it's really hard. Um, because um, it's really hard because I see um um people at auditions without uh um without any um 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 stutter or any other um just uh, um 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 abilities and it's um just me so i felt kind of sad but but um then i i just kept um going and and i'm okay with um with having uh some like um 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 being an extra or an ensemble so yeah And with with all of your um, acting experiences, because when I was looking at your resume earlier, what really excited me was that you do multiple accents. And, yeah. you know, that's like such a, a difficult skill set. And I also I've studied when you talk about like diversity inclusion, I'm mostly thinking like from my experience is mostly like religion, culture. Like I've studied the Middle East for my master's program. I have friends from tons of different backgrounds. So like, I just know them growing up, like there's no representation of like Indian culture and mainstream or when you get it, you get the one. Um, and so like also in studying languages, like it's such a skill in pronunciation and like how having to change your mouth, especially like when you study a different language, you there's like, I have problems like when I was studying Hindi, which is the Indian language, like a uh, lot, you have to do these weird things with your mouth. So I was wondering how is it for you being able to do accents? Um, what helps, what hurts? Do you have a, like one that you, when you speak with that accent, it's easier, one that's more difficult? Or I also know when I was studying foreign languages, we were talking about accents once and I was talking to foreigners that were Turkish students and they couldn't hear the accents. If we, if I did a Texas accent in English, he couldn't understand it. So I did it in Turkish with a Texas accent. And then I grabbed a New Yorker and said, do a, do a heavy New Yorker accent with that. And then they were like, oh, I finally get to see it. I finally get to know it. So I just like, it, it, it amuses me and interests me to hear like, even like, I love hearing people with different accents or different like, like if you like you said, like this would be very problematic if you're in this language because of the hard consonants, or this one has really soft ones, so it just like is so fluid. Um, <laughs> yes. So I, so I watch um, on Harry Potter. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, uh, and I watch other other shows like Peppa Pig <laughs> and other. Um, 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 British and Southern and French shows. Uh, uh, so when I was little, I watched, um, 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 Adeline and, 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 uh, and her accent was so cool. Um, um, because I didn't, um, see any, um, any, um, one with, the uh, um, who's, um, different, um, than, um, mine. So I tried it and then, and then it's a little tricky, but, uh, but, uh, um, British and Southern is easier. It and, is? Yes. Why? Oh, uh, because, um, 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 well, um, because, um, British has a high, has a higher, um, 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 range and, 
a little bit of softness and and southern is is like it's like uh it's like it 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 is with the um stomach so yeah it's yeah <laughs> so you talk out of different parts of your mouth or your body yes oh yeah and so and, that makes a big difference yes and and um the um um brain because um when i'm in the accent i um focus on the accent instead of my stutter okay wow that's it changes. really cool it, yeah and can you do a british accent and a southern accent for us yeah i was just gonna ask yes <laughs> okay so so i am gonna say a line i was in a show um 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 Mary Poppins and I played um um the child um um ch ch um Jane Banks so I'm going to say one of her lines um I'm going to think take your time <laughs> <laughs> okay Mary Poppins says it's a game. It's called a walk in the park. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and Southern, uh, uh, hey y'all, how are you? <laughs> 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 um, um, hey y'all, how are you? And stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to family and friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm from Texas. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's That's your cool. accent? Your your accent or your family's accent? Who? Um, Nikki. Oh. Oh, I, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm definitely Texan. So like um I my family like lived in rural uh the farming communities around Dallas. And so my parents have a stronger accent. Um, I don't have one as much. Like when I was in sixth grade, it wasn't pointed. It was pointed out when I went and spent a summer in New Hampshire. I have a very mild one, a very neutral one. And that also is possibly because in my high school, um, I went to school with a lot of people from different, uh, different cultures. Uh, majority of my school was black. And uh, we always joke that it was more like Ebonics was our the first language of our high school. And, um, but I also like a lot of my classmates were Vietnamese, friends were Indian, Pakistan. Um, so I pretty much have a very, fairly neutral one, but I'm pretty good at like mimicking accents, learn a language, but learning a language just because it changes what you're not used to. I had a, I had an argument one time when I was in the Hindi class cause I couldn't pronounce something or I miss, I misspelled a word. And they're like, well, it's just like George Washington. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> no one in my culture says it other than an American way for me to know how to say it. Or one another time was like, where in the English language do I do this with my tongue for me to like flip it over? So like I and also like now being a podcaster, like uh, I'm going to record tonight or tomorrow and I'll stammer and stutter on certain sentences and words. So um it's very interesting to see like what Desiree would do to overcome those situations when you're recording. Cause now like it's so focused on your voice and like little things you pick up, like little sound, you know, little mouth sounds and you're like, Oh my God, <laughs> can <I> stop? <laughs> I sound like I'm eating a piece of foil. <laughs> yeah. When I was learning German and French and Hebrew, <laughs> which all of those I'm not fluent in. Um, it was just kind of a phase I went through just learning all of those languages, but I didn't quite stick with it. I would stutter the most in Hebrew because there's a lot of hard consonants and sounds. Um, and so and then I would stutter the least when I was speaking 
German, which is so weird because German is such a hard language, but I just felt like I love that language so much um, that, you know, I, I don't know. It, it just, I spoke more fluently speaking German than I did English. Um, and then with French, I would stutter all the time. So I don't know why, but that's just my experience <laughs> with, with, with languages. And it's just interesting to, to like connect learning languages and stuttering. Um, well, even so, just because it's, it's so much pronunciation. And so, and like you said, like getting out of your, getting out of one side of your head and in the other. Yeah. And, um, and when I stuttered, so, so, so I was, um, 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 quiet. So I, um, wanted um, to, um, to, um, say something with, with, um, my hands, so, so, um, ASL, without speaking, and I said, no, I'm done, no, I'm gonna speak, it's too hard. <laughs> I ASL love that. Is hard. Yeah, but I love that you're like, you know what, this is not for me, I'm still going to talk because I want to talk and I don't want to learn a language just because my speech sounds a little different. So I think that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I was just saying, and so much as it's what you're comfortable with is what other people will read that, you know, makes an impact. Because like when I met Maya, I spent several days with her and I never heard her stutter until I learned that she more pauses. And so then after being around her a while, I could catch little moments of it, but not like it was never what I was aware with. And then one, the one time we had a long conversation where she stuttered more, she was excited because for once it, she wasn't stopping herself. So I think that's a, I think it's an important thing for everybody because I think so much now we're on social media that we have to be out there and there's a lot of censorship going to the people who are sensitive and have more to tell us. Like we need to hear what your experiences are, Desiree, what she, what you want. We need your bright and peppy personality to like, you know, say like, Hey, look, this doesn't have to be a problem. Uh, it's a little inconvenient maybe at this moment, or it just adds a little more color to the conversation, but let's just go with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So how would you, I think Nikki described my stutter almost perfectly. I always love <laughs> hearing how other people experience my stutter. I love it because sometimes I'm not aware of how I stutter. Um, but the more I've been like hearing from people about how I, I stutter, I do notice more that I do pause. And a lot of it is this mechanism I've learned since I was little to hide my stutter. So instead of stuttering through a word, I just pause, switch a word or just start over again. And so I'm wondering, De Desiree, like how would you describe your stutter and like in just like your everyday life? Okay. <laughs> uh, so me, uh, uh, so when I, he, um, someone, someone do, um, uh, um, I say hi, and then I say, hi, my name's Desiree, and then, and then, and then, um, um, I, um, I, um, um, talk with them, and then after that, I say, I say, um, oh, yeah, I have a stutter. And and they're like, what? Really? I'm like, yeah. And and they're like, I um don't um hear it. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> so so I guess I'm hide. I mean, I I hide it good. I don't know how. <laughs> and um and um and. And I sometimes um switch um words 
and and I pause and then and 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 then I say it again. So yeah. <laughs> I switch words. I'm not supposed to do that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we can't help it. <laughs> yeah. When I think and I think for regular people, we do that too. So we just think it's normal and pattern. We're like, when I go off, like I'll pull the wrong word out of my head. Or like I said, when I'm recording, like there are just be certain moments that you have. So it's hard for like someone like me and not having grown up with a closer friend or a relative with it, how to know when it's a, a more of an issue of where it's a repeat or an occurrence, or it's something that's a little more self-conscious for another person. Cause I just like with my, I just thought, Oh, it's just regular speech patterns. Like, you know, that happens. I talk and I'm all like, Oh yeah, I have to take a second <laughs> and collect my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of it, and that's a really good point is the internal stuff. That's the most, um, that distinguishes my experience from a fluent person ex um, experiences because Yes, like there are people who are fluent that, you know, they do pause and have similar mannerisms as people who stutter. But I think for me, like it's more of like the internal battle that's really the root of my stutter because it's just something that I'm constantly thinking about. Like my speech is literally my – center thought throughout my whole day. It's always on my mind. And so I think that's the difference. And I know like there are people who are affluent that also have those thoughts, but I think for a person who stutters, it's just, or at least for me, it's just like, it's kind of like a weight that's constantly I'm being pulled. Um, and then another interesting thought too is some people who stutter um, might not even call it a stutter until later in life or maybe never because it's not a very talked about disability in some cultures. And so, um, so yeah, it's just so, I don't want to like say like, oh, I have a stutter and you don't like, that's not the vibe. It's just every stutter has their own personal journey with it. And so um, the more we talk about it, the, the more we can just understand those nuances in speech and how it might be impacting us. Well, and sometimes like realizing that other people aren't seeing what you're, what you get nervous about. And so Desiree, like when you're, because like production can be so intense, no matter what, like deadlines, not very patient people at all. <laughs> um, so what is it when you like go to set or a, vo a voiceover session, what, what helps you manage the situation and um, where does your focus go in preparation or in, in the process? So, so me, so I, I, um, um, so I, um, read, um, um, the, um, script over and over and over again, and, and I take, um, speech, um, 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 speech, um, therapy, and, 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 and when I am um, um, rehearsing, I sometimes have good days and sometimes I have bad days. And, and sometimes I get angry and I cry. And, and, um, and, and I have a great um, um, cast. Who, who I, who I, so I told everyone at the beginning, I have a stutter, and they're like, hmm, that's okay. So, so I, um, can, um, 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 
Um, um, so I can take as long as I want, and and when I am um um doing um 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 voiceover. So, so I am in a in a, in a series that is um 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 coming up. It's um it is a um a um mini series, and I'm playing a fifteen um um um. Um, 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 so I'm playing a, um, 15, um, year old who has a stutter and she, and she, um, 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 lives in the, um, 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 jungle with her um with her um parents and a pet um 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 jaguar i want that (laughs) oh my gosh that's so awesome how long have you been um working on on that show or, or is this new i've been working on it since uh, since, since, um, last year, it isn't out yet. <laughs> are you still working on it or are yes. you, wow. Um, um, we, um, um, we, um, um, so we, um, 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 so we, um, just wrapped episode one and, and, and I am um 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 Ilya and and I um um Defford or Jaguar um his his name is is Amar. A M U R or Amir. Amir. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. <laughs> so is this a cartoon? Yes. It's gonna be animation. And I'm nice. excited. That's so cool. I don't think I've ever seen a show where the the um person that was casted was that stuttered the character stuttered actually was an actress that stuttered themselves so i well, think here i am yeah so <laughs> now was that an adjustment made because you stutter or was that a character that already has stuttered when they created it all she all already had a stutter and and so she is uh so um she is cute and sassy like me and and since um covid happened i have to uh, um record at, at home it's hard doing it at home <laughs> wow so yeah oh my gosh i feel like my mind is blown <laughs> <laughs> that is so exciting um Thank you. Is the person that created the show, does she stutter or where, do you know where the idea of the show came from? I'm so curious. So he, uh, um, so he, um, has, um, this, uh, um, um, ability also. And, and he is gonna, um, show it on, on like um on on like um 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 colleges and on 
on um on um on um YouTube and on uh on um on film um 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 festivals and other places and I'm excited. Oh and yeah. I- like I used I used to work in animation. Really? So this is <laughs> Yeah. My boss used to go to all the animation festivals. Or all the big ones, like six of them a year. Ooh. Yeah. So, 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 what um happens is, I um, I am at, and I am say um um um, so I am. Um, say, um, the, um, script, um, um, how I speak, and then, um, they, um, 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 anim, um, um, how I am, um, speaking without, um, um, I'm saying, nope, 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 you can't do that. So yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Wow, that is, I feel like we're getting a sneak peek. <laughs> <laughs> so cool, exclusive. Um, yeah. And what's the show called? It's called, um, um, Helia and, and Amar. Okay, cool. And um, will people be able to watch it, or do you have to attend the film festivals to watch it? Um, 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 I think um, um, people um can um, um, watch it. So yeah. Okay. Do you know when um it's gonna release publicly? Not yet. No, okay. Not well, yet. <laughs> well, and as you, soon as it does, we're going to blast it out, okay? Yeah. Okay. And you said it was a mini series, so how many episodes is it supposed to be? Uh I don't know. Um but I I um finished um uh, um episode 1 mm-hmm. so far. Well, and it takes a long time to animate, especially depending on the style that they do. Like, I try to tell people, I was like, yeah, you can do a documentary or a, um, maybe even a short film, like you can do it like in a week or two if you're really fast. But animation, you're lucky if three to six weeks, you get a couple of minutes. It takes a long time. I'm like, where is it? Where is it? I want to see it. (laughs) Is there any artwork of the characters available yet or not yet? He said it's a secret. I'm like, Ooh, I'm like, oh I, I want to see me. I want to see me. <laughs> I got turned into a puppet once. <laughs> they really? t- they made they took my name and ma- made it as a puppet. It never went to TV series, but as a pitch from two clients I used to work with. And yeah. the funny thing is the character that they drew the puppet with my name actually was very similar to me as a kid. <laughs> And I have a picture like almost like she had a red plaid and I had an outfit almost the exact same that I sent to them and said, hey, y'all kind of actually got it accurate. <laughs> but they were just taking my name, not so much based on my personality. Aww. But um, so it will be very fun. It's very fun to see yourself cartoonized, yes. whichever way it is, even if like how old is your character supposed to be in the, uh, the, the um, show? 15. OK. I'm a high school. I'm a high schooler. With a homeschooled <laughs> high schooler. And are you hoping the character looks like you? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. <laughs> and 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 I hope she's wearing jungle themed clothes because since it's in the jungle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and 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 I uh, and and. And so, so, so in um, my show, I have a mom, 
a dad, an uncle, um, friends, and the and the animal sidekick. <laughs> nice. That's um, a kid's dream. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And is this, like, how is this, um, okay, let me try to think of this question. It's a little, (laughs) um, how, like, is the stuttering a center part of the story or is it something that's just, you know, not, it's not a big deal? Like, because there's some characters where they have a stutter and it's just like, not a big deal but then sometimes you know the stutters the whole story like the king's speech it was like all about his stutter then there's some characters that just stutter and it's like not a big deal does that make sense yeah so 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 i so so she is so um she wants to um 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 be a huntress and she so i think yes half yes half no but um but uh she says why um do um 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 so she's um, so she, um, um, asked her, her mom, why, um, she has a stutter, and then she says, I, I, I forgot what she said, because it was a long time ago, uh, and she, she says something encouraging, <laughs> and, and, and then I, um, I, um, I, I guess I, I run away and I see an animal and I save it. I guess, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a cute, it's a cute, uh, cat. I like the cat. I saw the drawing. It was adorable. <gasps> you have the drawing? I have it. I saved it. And he is a baby. Aww. Now this is the baby jaguar, or is this a different cat? Okay, it's the jaguar. It's the jaguar. <laughs> so it and sounds she- like a positive representation of, of stuttering, which is very rare in the entertainment world. <laughs> yes, and she, I, I, uh, she is probably um gonna have glasses. Yeah. I like that. Because I have glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. That is so exciting to hear that that's coming out. And, yeah, as soon as it comes out, let me know and I will blast it out. And, um, oh, my gosh, I'm just like, you don't even know how excited I am because <laughs> it's so rare. <laughs> it is. I'm like, why is it so rare? so how did you find out about the role and like how did you like how did you like so like one how did you find out about the 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 role and like take us through what you felt when you found out that you got it so so I was on Facebook and someone asked if 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 um if if um if um they um 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 no um someone who stutters or if you stutter who can play a fifteen um 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 dear old girl who stutters and I said I have a stutter. And I sound young. Um, um, so I sent in um by saying hi on on a on a um on a on a um microphone, and then 
um he um um set in um some sides uh um so um sides are 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 uh are are um some of the script it's it's a little preview and he um sent me um 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 so he sent me the um 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 her description and so i i did it and i sent it and then about a couple months i got i got it he emailed me and said i got it i was like what so i am happy <laughs> That is but we're so happy for you exciting. too. Thank you. Because <laughs> I had a I, Oh, Go um ahead. um um because I've always wanted to be in the voiceover industry because I I like animation. I watch cartoons and 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 I was hoping someone could could uh could have a character who stutters but then it never happened and then I saw this on Facebook and I said I'm going to do that so yeah that's <laughs> so cool you're going to inspire so many young people who stutter i like that is so needed i'm so yes. i'm so excited for you yeah. and it, and such a cool role, you know, because like you said, you get, even get the animal sidekick that just, yes, you know, that, that, that makes you the central and lead character. Yes. Um, you're playing, because you're playing, you're playing Amelia is the name? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you're playing the title lead character of the show. <laughs> and, 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 um, and, and, um, I have, have a um a animal sidekick and a weapon. What's your weapon? Uh, an it wait no a uh a, a spear a spear mm -hmm. it, it it like attacks people or trees <laughs> and other stuff. <laughs> now have you gone and practiced the spear spearing on your own? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm not allowed to oh yeah and 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 he said um 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 that um um that um i will be um oh wait uh, she will um um she will um be on adventures and um and um and um and um and um 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 fighting um bad guys. I was like, "What in the jungle?" He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> there's gonna be bad guys." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Um, well, as we round out the in interview, I do want to ask one more question and this one is about the theme of season two so season two's theme is all about transformative experience those like aha moments where you're you like shift your view around your stuttering there could be a bunch of different moments in your life but is there one that st sticks out where you kind of had a transformation around how you viewed your stutter um, I, 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 um, I, um, um, I, um, empath, I, um, I, um, I, um, empath, dies with, um, people, and I have, um, compassion, um, to, um, people with, um, speech impediments and, and other, um, 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 
disabilities. So yeah. Great. Um, and that's a critical skill when you're acting is being able to empathize and relate to people and also being able to understand your own emotion and feelings. Yes. And when and when to exhibit them and when to hold back a little. Um so that you you have the, the reaction you want in the situation. Yes, definitely. <laughs> And so how has just, I guess, one little extra question. So how has acting and performing and voiceover, how is that, like, as part of the transformational experience, how does that help you? And what would you like other people to take from that in whatever comp in whatever way they need to their lives? Because we all, like, we all get to the point where we limit ourselves. And that's like confronting your limitation or your fear and just going with it. And that's quite empowering and freeing. So how, what would you like to say to people to encourage um, pursuing whatever passion they have like you have? Uh, I say, um, 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 just keep going and, 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 um, egg, egg, Nor all of, all all of um, all of um um, the um um haters, and and just um be um you, and and um and if you want to act or do something else, uh, I say um, go for it, because um. Um, we, on, um, we, on, they have, um, have one, um, 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 life. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's amazing, and Thank I you. can already see you're gonna be. An amazing um, motivational speaker one day. <laughs> Thank you. I hope and you're, you're going to be a fantastic animated character. Yeah, so <laughs> excited you. for that. Yeah, they they need they need to base it on you because you got like your expressions and like very <laughs> vivacious, as yes. well your as well as your voice. So like that's great that you know you're letting your voice be out there and letting us experience that and you know opening that door where it's not constructed it's real so mm -hmm. but it's not going to limit you yes <laughs> i can't well, wait <laughs> well thank you both so much um that was a great convo and yeah thank